everybody. Welcome to my Origami of the Day calendar video for Tuesday, October 27th, 2009. And this model is one of a rabbit mask. So it's supposed to be a little mask that looks like a rabbit. And it uses a traditional piece of origami paper. You will need um, no other supplies for this one, so uh, gather up your paper and we'll get started. Begin your model today by folding your piece of paper with the colored side facing you, folding it in half on the diagonal in both directions. So first one way, open it back up, and then the other way, and open it back up. And then, now that you've created a center point, fold two opposing corners to that center line or center point. So one and then the other like this and then fold your piece up in half so that now you've got your um, the white side facing out then fold it in half um, this way All right, so after you've um, folded your piece over this way, just um, if you do actually have this calendar and you're following along with your directions, um, it's a little confusing at this point because the picture in the calendar uh, indicates that this should be the colored portion, see right there, should be to the outside, and that is not the case. Um, one, it's physically impossible to get from this step to that step and suddenly have the colored uh, side be on the out on the outside and that's not the way the model progresses anyway so if it confuses you for a moment like it did me when I folded it over and, and then looked at the next step and thought well that's not what my piece looks like uh, don't worry because you are correct this should actually be with the white side facing the outside okay so your piece will look like this um, not like that with the colored side out. Um, and what you're gonna do next, once you've folded over to the side, is push, put your finger inside here on this top part, part and pull across so that you're opening up this flap into this uh, diamond shaped or a square that's kind of on its side like this like so, and then fold this piece to the back so that now your piece will look like this. Okay, so the, the last few folds that you'll be making for this model will be to uh, fold to the inside from the tip of this point here to the bottom corner here on each side of this piece because it's sort of split so you're folding the one in and then you're folding the other one to the inside and what you may find you want to do because um, it can be a little awkward making that inside fold is to just first fold it in the opposite direction from really what where you're wanting it to go to give yourself a crease and to get it all lined up correctly then you can just flip that whole thing around and reverse it to the inside like so and then you're going to do the same exact thing with this piece. So you're going to take it and flip it to the inside, like so. And then just flip your piece around, pull out on, on the back part here, and what you'll have on the front is your little rabbit mask, which is kind of like a rabbit, a nose. You can turn your nose into a rabbit with origami paper but it's a little small for your face. So there you have it, a rabbit mask. Halloween's coming up, so I guess you could make a big enough one of these if you wanted to. So that's our Tuesday model. Uh, the Wednesday model is uh, a winged, winged hat. So it's a hat that has little wings on it. So, uh, that'll be the, the Wednesday model. Uh, it uses also just a regular piece of paper, no scissors or anything required. So, 
I'll meet you back here for that one soon enough. Have a good one. Bye.